All right, and welcome to the Achieve Even More Show. Are you ready to win the game of financial freedom? Let me know if one of your main focuses is financial freedom. And do you agree that in order to win the financial game, to have freedom, right? Um, there's a variety of different complex situations you've got to navigate through. Are you ready to win the financial game of uh, money, right? Let me ask you a question. How much does mindset play uh, in financial freedom and earning more? How much does your mindset play a part of how much you earn? Hi there, Skip. Um, say hi to me in the chat. Tell me where you're from and what do you do? Right, hi there, Carl. One of the things that um, my mentor shared with me many, many years ago, he said there's four things you need to focus on uh, within the game of financial freedom. Can anybody guess what those four things are? Uh, I'm going to give you the broad broad sense of financial freedom and I'll give you the uh, deeper level. Hello there, Mr. Shashin Shah. You up in the snow in Telluride, buddy? So uh, psychology, is psychology important? Your psychology, is that important in winning the game of financial freedom? Uh, of course it is. There are, so uh, J. Saul, money, mind, evidence. Hi there, girl, Pap from London. Where are you from? Hi, from India. Hello, where are you from? So when we're talking about, you know, um, winning the game of financial freedom, uh, so uh, skip mindset, skill set, actions. You're on the on the on the ball. There's one other piece to it. All right, um, Chip, uh, and we're gonna get that. So, what is mindset? Like when you think of the word mindset, is mindset just a good attitude? Like what is mindset? What does mindset constitute? Right? Does mindset constitute a good attitude or what Carol Dweck said, you know, having a, um, a growth mindset versus a fixed mindset? I imagine if you're here, you have a growth mindset, right? Skip, I'll share with you the fourth one in just a moment, not a force. Uh, it is kind of a force, but not a force, right? So when we talk about mindset, what are the different pieces around what causes somebody to have a really great mindset to have or to create financial freedom in their life. What do you think it is? By the way, if you can hear me and see me, leave me, like just tell me in the chat, John, I can hear you and see you, or give me a like or a love, or leave me a, a message in the chat, if you don't mind, right here on Instagram. And uh, we're also streaming live on, um, on uh, Facebook also. Hi there, Thomas. All right, so what is mindset? Like what is a, you know, a positive mindset? There's a lot of people that have a positive mindset, all right, but they're not earning the money that they want to earn. So when we talk about mindset, right, is it possible that the, the topic of mindset, you know, might mean, okay, your ability to focus, might mean your ability to be aware, might be your attitude, might be your expectations. Where does... Where do your beliefs, right? What you believe is possible for you and what you believe you are worth. Where do limiting beliefs play a part or beliefs that limit you play a part of earning more money, of having financial freedom? I want to go beneath the surface, all right? Because if you want to have financial freedom, right, then we have to have the mindset that will allow us to get there, right? So the number one thing to consider is, do I have the right mindset with the beliefs, the perspectives, the paradigms, the attitude, the focus, the concentration, to stay on track to achieving whatever you deem is financial freedom? Can you do me a favor and type in the chat um, and just, it's a yes or no question. And this is based on a survey that was, uh, that was just done recently. Um, number one, do you believe you have enough money saved away and you're on track to have enough money to retire the way you wanna retire? at the age you want to retire. Do you believe you're going to have enough money to retire the way you want to retire when you choose to retire? 
amazingly, 90% of people say no to that question, not because they don't wanna retire, they just don't have enough, they don't have a plan. And so here's a question. Um, if mindset is part one of the equation, I'm gonna have the right mindset, right? Then would number two be skill set? Like what are my skills? And there are five games that we are playing when we're talking about financial freedom, right? Financial freedom is, a, is an event, right? It's a, it's a time in our life where we don't have to worry about do we have enough money coming in in order to live the lifestyle that we want to live. Most people live the lifestyle they have to live versus the lifestyle they want to live, right? And we settle. And the question is, why do we settle? Well, because of our mindset. But we also settle because of number two is we lack the skill set. We lack the skill set. And the question is, skill set for what? Would you agree? I'm going to ask you a bunch of questions. Here. Would you agree that there's really uh, in the arena of money, financial freedom, there are five games that are being played simultaneously. The first game, and Skip, I'll tell you the fourth force in just a moment, all right? The first thing we have to learn is how do I make more than enough, right? How do I earn more than enough money? Uh, we all have living expenses for whether it's car, house, food, shelter, um, a little fun and experiences we wanna have, but, but do I have the skills to earn more than enough? Yes or no, it's binary. It's like, well, maybe. Uh, so if we have the skills, but we're not taking action, then there's a disconnect between what we know and what we're doing. That's a mindset issue, right? So if we have the skills for earning more money, but we're not taking action, it must be something in, a, you know, in our mental or emotional part of our brain that's holding us back. So think about this. When I combine the right mindset with the right skill set for earning more than enough, right? Because a lot of people are living uh, above their means, some people living at their means, and some people are living with more than enough, which leads me to the next pillar, as I call them. There's five pillars we want to get really good at, right? One is earning more than enough. Would you agree with that? Two, am I good at managing the money that I'm earning? The money that's coming in, do I know how to manage it right? Do I know how to keep track of whether it's my personal expenses, my business expenses, and manage money so that it doesn't manage me and my lifestyle? That's a second pillar and skill that you have to learn. Third pillar, okay, in the skill set arena, we talked about mindset, but now we're gonna talk about skill set arena. Third pillar is if I make more than enough and I manage it well, so that I have some savings, right? The third pillar of financial freedom has to be investing. Investing, like where can I put my money? So now instead of me working for money, money works for me, right? How many of you have money working for you through your investments, where your investments are appreciating, your investments have cash flow coming back to you? There's, there's, um, two types of um, investments that I like to look at. There's investments that are uh, what I call are piles. So when you build a business, right, it builds value. So you have a pile. If you have a piece of land, okay, um, it creates value, right? But what about if you have a business that just keeps making money or you have investments that pay you dividends or interest rates, okay? Those are streams of income. So in the world of financial freedom, we have earning more than enough. We have managing better, right? So that, you know, we have a surplus. And then we have the world of investing. And what we want to do, right, is invest, okay, to build piles and streams. So that when we get to the time in our life that we want to be financially free, the pile of the stream is able to take care of us. So we build the pile of the stream and then the pile of the stream takes care of us. That makes sense. So, so far, pillar number one's earning more, two is managing better, and three is investing. Now, what about the fourth pillar? Protecting your assets. 
What about the fourth pillar? How do I protect my assets? How do I protect my pile? How do I protect my stream? There are ways to do it legally. There's ways to do it obviously contractually. There's ways to do it in the stock market by putting stop losses you know, on your investment. There are ways to protect investments. And when we're talking about the word investment, are you gambling, speculating, or investing? Which one are you really doing? A lot of people confuse gambling or speculating with investing. Investing requires, okay, a higher level of knowledge and skill and decision making than gambling based on, oh, I think this is gonna go up, right? And then the fifth pillar within, okay, the skill set of money is debt. Two parts to debt. One is getting out of debt. Two is using debt as leverage. So let me ask you a question. If you could borrow a million dollars from me at 3% and you could turn that 3% into 10 or 12%, would you borrow a million dollars if you knew how to invest that and make the difference? That's called good debt. Bad debt is when you take a million dollars and you gamble it hoping that you're gonna make a return, okay, on investment, but it was really a gamble or a speculation instead of an investment. Does that make sense? So either way, we're talking about mindset and skill set, right? Hey there, Gordon. Hi there, Igor. So when we're getting into winning the game of financial freedom, if fewer than 5% of people have financial freedom or get to the point where they have financial freedom, doesn't it make sense that there must be things that they either don't know or don't do? I'm sharing with you some of the things they don't know and don't do. They don't think this way and they don't have the discipline, okay, required to achieve financial freedom. It's not that they don't have the potential. They don't have the mindset or the skill set which leads me to the third thing that we're gonna talk about before I will give Skip the fourth thing that's really, really important. So we have mindset, which we've discussed as your focus, your ability, your beliefs, your perspectives, your paradigms, your attitude. But then we have the skill sets required, which then means the action set. Do you know what you need to do every day, every week, every month to earn more money? Let me share a story with you. True story, yesterday I was talking uh, with one of my um, private clients and we were reviewing their results for the last 90 days. And the results were just not great, okay, not great. And at our last meeting about three, four months ago, uh, we had a set behavior of what they needed to do and they didn't do it. And so when they showed up to the call, you know, yesterday, uh, the results for the last 90 days were less than stellar. And when we took a look at what was their behavior, their actions, their actions caused the results. Would you agree? The actions cause results. The actions you take and the actions you don't take cause your results. Would you agree with that? Well, they weren't taking the actions required to get the results that they want. The results were effects of the lack of action they were taking to generate more money. So if we have the mindset and we have the skill set, but we don't have the action sets that are consistent, the habits, then is it possible that we may have the best positive attitude, we may have the knowledge and skills because we've attended you know, a whole bunch of these Instagram and Facebook uh, trainings and we've bought books and read them, but we haven't integrated our mindset skill set with our action set, we may not be achieving the results we want. I've been fascinated with how is it that we can learn what to do, how to do it, when to do it, why to do it, and we don't do it. Right? Do you think it might have anything to do with the fact that habits are part of your subconscious conditioning and 97% of our thoughts, emotions, and behaviors are because of our subconscious conditioning and the automatic patterns, right? So the fourth thing that we're gonna talk about now, and thank you for all your feedback, I'm reading as I'm, as I'm chatting. If we don't change our habits to actually activate the skills part of our brain 
that tied to the mindset part of our brain, then we're not gonna be met with the successes that we want, right? And so how important do you think this fourth factor is? How important do you think this fourth factor is? We've got mindsets critical, skill set is critical, actions and specifically creating behaviors that are habitual, but then the fourth part is your environment. So there's an internal environment, right? But also there is an external environment. Your office, your home office, your business, the people you hang around with, the people you're learning with and growing with. How much do you think your environment plays a part of whether you are motivated and take action and you overcome your fears or your doubt or your anxiety or your failures? How important do you think environment is? Well, a lot of the research is showing that environment is critical for not just for us to stay motivated, but it's for us to share our experiences with each other and to help each other out. Because when we help each other, when we're the, in the environment of success, of people who want to achieve more and more and more, we're actually releasing more serotonin, more oxytocin, uh, the feel good bonding neurochemicals, which are tied to your motivational centers in your brain. So here's the key. If you wanna win the game of financial freedom, I'm gonna give those of you who just joined a little recap. You've gotta get your mindset right. You've gotta get your skill set right, and specifically your skills around earning more than you spend, managing your money better, investing wisely versus speculating or gambling, protecting your wealth, and then using debt as leverage and using techniques to get out of debt quickly, you wanna make sure that you develop the daily, weekly, monthly habits to match the vision and goals that you have, and then you want to be able to do what? To get into the environment that fosters your growth and makes it easier, okay, to achieve success because other people are doing it all right, in conjunction with you. So skip, the fourth is environment, okay? The fourth is your environment. Hello there from, uh, let me say hello to a few of you, all right? Let me get my glasses on. Hi there, Marsha. Hi there, Gordon Pettit, Nawa, Sindis, Doina, hello there, Doina, Daniela, uh, Yul, Chad, Narel, Igor, Chandon, Skip, hi there, Solcernia, uh, Queen Makarenko, Makarenko. Uh, let's see who else we have here. We got lots and lots of people from around the world. Uh, type in the chat now, where are you from? I saw a whole bunch of people from all over the world, right? Uh, hi there, Mark, Jennifer, Gloria Flores. Hi, sweetheart, nice to see you here, Gloria. Uh, hi there, Maria Maximo, don't fake it, make it, Becky, hello there. Um, let's see, uh, a lot of people from around the world. Hi, Divas, hi, Ak Ashwa. Igor from New York, from Houston, Utah, Slater. So listen, here's a question. Hold on, let's see if I can go somewhere. How many of you have ever tried to solve the Rubik's Cube? Have you ever tried to solve the Rubik's Cube? Right, the, the, whether it's the two by two, right, or the three by three, or, hold on, hold on, hold on. I love Rubik's Cube, or the five by five, or the four by four. Have you ever tried to solve have you ever tried to solve these, right? Um, is this a skill that you can learn to solve the Rubik's Cube? Is it a skill you can learn? Uh, of course it is. If you're committed to learning it, could you learn it? Uh, of course, of course, if you're committed to learning it, you can learn it, right? So Marisa, very close, but never solved it, tried and failed, right? What about tried and learned, right? So here's a question. If you committed to learning, could you learn? If you committed to learning, could you learn? And the answer is of course you could, um, but you'd have to solve it and you have to become a finisher, not a starter, right? And so let me share something with you. Um, how many of you have been to uh, the Brainathon that we've done uh, for the last nine years where I bring you world-renowned experts on how to master your mindset and your skill set and your action set? Uh, because here's what I'm going to do. For those of you who want to join me for a full day of training for free with world-renowned experts on October the 23rd. Can somebody type in the chat October 23rd? October 23rd, we're doing our ninth 
annual Brainathon. I'll be there. Jack Canfield, who sold 500 million books, will be there. Lisa Nichols will be there from The Secret. Um, Dr. Lisa Feldman Barrett will be there. She's a distinguished professor at Northeastern University. Dr. John Demartini will be there. Marissa Peer will be there. I've put together a world-class lineup for a full day training for free to help you change your brain so you change your income. October the 23rd, 9 a.m. Pacific, 12 o'clock New York. If you just type in the word brain, if you go to my uh, instant messenger on Facebook, or you go to DM me, to direct message me on Instagram, type in just the word brain, not in this chat, go to my DM, okay, on Facebook or Instagram, don't say hi John, don't say uh, anything, just the word, B-R-A-I-N, we set up a system to give you an automatic link, no, don't type in brain over here, all right, type in brain, go to my message and type in brain, all right, instead of right here in this feed. All right, and my team can also put up a link here as well if you would like uh, in the chat. Also, you can click on that and please share it with the world. We will be teaching you the latest in how do you let go of limiting beliefs that are holding you back? What's one limiting belief that if you let go of that limiting belief, you would take more inspired action? Can anybody tell me a limiting belief that you might have? What limiting belief do you have? Does anybody have a belief that they're too young to achieve a millionaire status or they're too old to achieve a millionaire status? Right? Does anybody have a belief, a limiting belief? I'm not smart enough, I'm not good enough, I'm not worthy, I'm too young, I'm too old, I can't do it, right? If you think about your brain, what is a limiting belief? Isn't it a pattern that's been reinforced for some reason, it's been reinforced? If I go pursue my passion, I miss out on raising my kids, right? And so Joe, for you specifically, what would have to happen in order for you to raise your kids, okay, and fulfill your passion, right? So when we take a look at limiting beliefs, they hold us back. We'll show you how to get rid of them. What about um, your self-image? How much do you think your self-image plays a part on whether you will achieve, okay, your goals or not. Is everything tied together? When we talked about mindset earlier, right? If I have limiting beliefs, they limit me. If I have a self-image that doesn't believe I'm worthy or can achieve those goals, do you think we are going to take action or not? No. What about fear? Can you give me one fear that might hold you back? There's 50, not, well, 55. Do you know one fear all right, do you know one fear that might be holding you back? All right, and Blake, have you ever considered that your internet speed is too low? All right, have you ever considered that maybe that's what's happening and you can upgrade your internet speed and your audio and video will match, all right? So what about a fear, all right? Fear of failure, okay? Has fear of failure ever held you back? What about fear of disappointing yourself? Have you ever wanted to take action, right? And you didn't because you were concerned about whether it's losing money, Brittany, and what that would mean, or being embarrassed or ashamed or ridiculed or judged or rejected or not loved. So is it possible that things that are going on in my head, in your head, is holding you back, right? Is holding you back, right? Well. If you could learn how to let go of the fears that are holding you back, would that be worthwhile for you to learn how to do that? Right, because if we said that there are four things that we need, getting the right mindset, the right skill set, the right action set, and the right environment, then we have to also understand that our emotions are part of our mindset, right? And either we control our emotions like fear or it controls us. Can anybody tell me what the number one behavior is when the fear circuit is activated? There's actually three, three things that happen when the fear circuit's activated. What is the sequence of what happens? 
right? What is the sequence of what happens? When the circuit in our brain is triggered, okay, when the circuit in our brain is triggered around fear, there are three automatic reactions, right? We either fight, we fight, or we flee. Fight, flight, or flee. Have you ever heard of that? Fight, flight, or freeze, right? There's actually a, a fourth one, it's faint. Some people actually faint when the fear is so great. So when we're in a fight mode, right, is that conducive to winning the game of money. When we're in a freeze mode, we, we're just frozen with fear. Is that conducive to winning the game of money? When we are in, okay, a running away mode, right? We flee, is that conducive to winning the game of money? Of course it's not, right? So we wanna be in a state where we can be calm to respond. Calm to respond versus stressed to react, right? So when we are more in control of our mindset, and we upgrade our skill set and we develop habits that help us earn more, manage better, invest wisely, protect our assets and use debt as leverage or get out of debt faster and we are in the right environment. Can you see how that can be a formula to solve this financial freedom puzzle? Anything less than what I've just shared with you um, won't work. Uh, I can share with you that, you know, I've been around the game for a long enough period of time. If you really want to master your mindset and your emotions and your behavior, I recommend, all right, that you really take a deeper look, okay, at the $100 billion brain that you have and then make a decision to upgrade it. Upgrade your brain. You upgrade your cell phone, you upgrade your computer, upgrade your mindset, upgrade your skill set, upgrade your action set so that it matches the vision and goals that you have. Does that make sense? Does that make sense? Uh, and if you want to do that, join me on the um, Brainathon, October the 23rd. And my team is putting up a link on Instagram. There'll be uh, a way to sign up in my bio or just DM me the word brain in the messenger. Go to messenger and type in brain with nothing else in there and we'll give you access to that and bring your friends, bring your family. Uh, we're expecting 100,000 people to sign up for this year's Brainathon. So sign up early and get there about 15 minutes early. It's on October 23rd, which is in about 10 days. Um, I'll be live a lot, um, sharing with, uh, with people uh, more about this. And uh, we have Jack Canfield, Lisa Nichols, uh, Marissa Peer, Lisa Feldman Barrett, Dr. John Martini, myself, uh, Nirka will all be there um, to help you level up your inner game, level up your skills, level up your, um, your um, environment. And we do it for free. So we do it for free uh, as a way for you to enjoy financial freedom. Let me ask you a question. What is one reason, what's one reason you would love to achieve financial freedom. And thank you, Cheryl. Uh, how many of you have been on a Brainathon in the past? This is our brand spanking new Brainathon, never before seen. Um, it goes on October the 23rd. So it is brand spanking new, right? Uh, brand spanking new, all right? How many of you have been on the Brainathon before? And uh, how many of you are signing up for it? Um, I can't do better than free for you. Right, I can't do better than free. Right, so Robin Lance, peace of mind, right? Money is a tool, right? Peace of mind, right? Money is a tool to give you peace of mind, to give you choice freedom, right? To give you some emotional freedom when it's used correctly. Hey there, F-Man, you've been on the Brainathon. Awesome, 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 awesome. So better life for you and the kids. Hein, Hein, I think it is. So Igor, yeah, to, um, to help others, that's great. Right, so um, to help others in creative mind, right? Awesome. Veronica, it's free, the Brainathon is free, right? Just sign up, it's free. Uh, Anna, if you go to, uh, you know, go to DM me, you know, direct message me on, on uh, Instagram, um, go to my messages and just direct message me just the word brain. Don't put anything else um, in there at all, right? 
Uh, Lonnie, I'm glad you signed up. Yeah, it's gonna be amazing. Uh, no Shaba, what a great name, that's great. Happiness, you know, money can, money can bring you happiness. You know how money can bring you happiness? Make so much that you can give a lot away and make the life of somebody else or a town or a village or a charity that you love uh, a little bit better. So uh, I hope that you all will join me. Um, every Tuesday I go live right here on the channel that you are on for 30 minutes. And um, I, love, I love sharing what I've learned. I love sharing about the brain. I love sharing about what you need to do without um, sprinkling any fairy dust on it, right? Pretty pragmatic type of person. Mindset, skill set, action set, plus environment. Get those right and go deeper than the, um, you know, deeper than the surface and, um, and you'll be able to create the masterpiece you want in your life. Uh, is there anybody other than me that is committed to living an extraordinary life? I don't wanna live an ordinary life. So I'm willing to do a little bit extra so I have an extraordinary life. How about you? Are you willing to do a little bit extra to have an extraordinary life? Like, I'm prepared to do whatever I need to do to make sure that my life is a masterpiece. Anybody else with me? Right, Ishtar, help kids. Yeah, absolutely, anybody else with me? Hey Mark, Jennifer, that's awesome. Yeah, extraordinary is a must. Like, how would you feel if you were at the end of your life and you thought about your life and you said, my life was just ordinary. Like, I would hate that. Like, that's like a, uh, I refuse that. So I'm willing to do what it takes. I hope you are as well. Join me on the Brainathon. Um, and uh, I appreciate each and every one of you. Thanks. If you like this, share this, by the way, please. Uh, if you like this, share this. And I'll be doing some Q&A sessions as well over the next 10 days. Uh, I'll go live on Instagram and do some Q&As and invite some of you up also. So pay attention to what I'm doing on my Facebook fan page and pay attention to what I'm doing on my Instagram page the next 10 days. I'm going to go on more than usual to, uh, to help obviously share uh, some of the knowledge and skills, but also um, to um, let people know about the Brainathon. This is a once a year amazing event that we do and it releases the new one on October the 23rd, 9 a.m. Pacific, 12 o'clock New York time. It'll be all day. It'll blow your mind. Hi there, Ole. Nice to see you and um, appreciate you all. Have an awesome, awesome day.